Gemini. Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for the month of November 2024. Now, before I move on, please have in mind this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is below in the description box. Gemini. Okay. So, I'll try to do my best because I'm not really like i got a cold and i'm a bit off but it is what it is let's do this let's start gemini november 2024 for gemini okay gemini there you are queen of swords Nine of one, November two thousand and twenty four for the magician, Ace of Wands, Gemini, Six of Pentacles. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck we have the Hierophant. Let's see, first card for you is the Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, oh, the Star. Two of Wands, Judgment, and finally the Eight of Pentacles. So for a lot of you, this is work-related. Maybe not only work-related, okay? But Gemini... It's all about revaluating, reconsidering a situation, a connection, okay? It's a bit confusing, right? The Seven of Cups. Obviously, you have a wish. You have a desire when it comes to this situation, relationship, okay? Now, I have to say it because I see it, you do stand out. Meaning that you have a star, Gemini. You are a star that is meant to shine brightly. And you are aware of that. But I feel that there is something, some, some kind of energy that is hindering you. And a lot of you have detected <coughs> what this energy is and where this, ener where this energy is coming from. That's why we have judgment. To refine, please, the Five of Cups. To refine the Five of Cups. Yeah. We have the Nine of Cups, which again is your wish fulfillment, your desire, what you, what, we have, what you have been dreaming of. But the Five of Cups is showing us, again, that you're not getting what you want. You're not going where you want. You're not heading towards where you want to go. Okay? You feel stuck for some reason. And it's going to be different for each and every one of you. So again, whatever this energy is, is slowing you down, is hindering you, is dimming your light.
Gemini. We'll find the Seven of Cups. We'll find the Seven of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. This is really figuring out a way to get out of this and, 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 and start moving, start flowing. And also what you need to do for, for this energy to, 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 to stop, to, to, for this energy to, to, to sorry, to end this, to stop it. Mm. I'm also hearing that there is some of you out there that are in, 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 in showbiz, you are artists. Maybe you're just on social media, you have a platform, um, people are watching you. This is what I'm getting. Okay. We have the lovers. So also be the feelings or your feelings are, are keeping you a little bit stuck here, right? Because you have feelings, you, you have... Um, Mm. But it's all about balancing the heart with the mind, because it's not all about feelings, right? If this is not working out, if this is not giving you what you want and what you deserve, then there is something wrong. I want to clarify again the Eight of Swords, please, for Gemini. Thank you. Two of Swords, final notice. It's like your higher self, your spirit guides, the universe have been showing you the red flags. It's like you know what you have to do right but it does take a lot of, of courage and strength to take the actions that you are shown to take here because again feelings are involved but again these are the feelings are what is is, is keeping us stuck okay we'll find the star And again, if this is work related, you have a dream, you have visioned a path, okay? But again, this path has blocks. And maybe someone is putting these blocks on your path. I'm hearing that very loud, loud, like loud and clear. Could be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups here. Find the star. There is not, okay, it's not only one way. This is also what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm hearing. It's not only one way. Like you can get where you want, but needing to, to, to modify or, or change your, your pattern, your behavior, your mindset.
Because, yeah, sometimes our ego wants what it wants. And it just feels like we're banging ourselves against the wall. When, when, when there is another way to get where we want to go. Okay, clarifying the star for Gemini. We have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, and the Ten of Wands. And the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. With the Devil. And the Nine of Swords. And the Five of Cups. Excuse me, the Five of Pentacles. Again, we see that there are feelings involved. We see that with the Page of Cups. But the Five of Pentacles is an energy of lack. We see the Knight of Cups. Again, feelings. But we have the Nine of Swords and the Devil. Some of you are self-sabotaging because of your feelings. Because the way how you feel about the situation, about this person. Again, I keep hearing there is another way. There's not only one way. There is other, there are other ways to get where you want to go. This Knight of Wands has become a burden to you. This Knight of Wands is someone that is not taking things seriously. Is it someone that you are not on the same page with? <coughs> You're giving your hand to this person but they're not they don't want to they don't, they don't want to take it because again this individual is very very much set in their ways can you find please a knight of wands or you feel that maybe you feel that especially if this is like a work environment that that they're not taking you seriously <coughs> Or they are taking advantage of you, Gemini? Yes. Mm. Someone is pulling the wool over your eyes. It could be a younger individual. It could be a family fam member or a friend. It could also be a co-worker. The, this is um, an individual that is two-faced. That's two faces, maybe three. Can we find the three of cups? The Gemini. Can we find the three of cups? Yes. Yes. It's like they talk behind your back. Could be. Like they're showing you love, attention. Right? So you are considering them on your side. But then when you turn your back, they, they gossip. They stab you. They stab you behind your back. Like, it's like. And again, this is all about, you know, you know who this is. You do have an idea who this is. I'm very sorry, Gemini, but I really need to do this. I feel bad, but it's like, I can't do anything about it. Yeah. So sorry.
sorry, this could be also be someone at, at, at your work. Oh my goodness. Maybe I already said that. So moving on. Find the ten of swords. Find the ten of swords. The magician. And uh, the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. This could be an authority figure also. Or maybe the third person is an authority figure. Gemini <coughs> the King of Swords the Magician Cancer by Scorpio again so this is you this is you and this is that's that other individual as I said could be work related but again, I keep seeing three energies here. Keep seeing three energies. Two of Pentacles. And the Empress and the Emperor. And strength in the middle. So again, it's all about finding that courage and strength to take the actions that you are shown to take here. Because I feel that someone is, is using you or taking you for a ride or, 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 or is like taking advantage of you. Because again, I'm hearing feelings are involved. Oh my goodness, okay. This is what I'm hearing again. Maybe someone is just taking you for granted here also. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, they're taking you for granted. And you're doing all the work and they get the credit. Clarifying the two of wands. Clarifying, please, the two of wands. Ace of pentacles. Ace of Pentacles to Gemini and the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the King of the, the 3D reality, the King of Abundance. There is going to be an opportunity in, in your near future, in the near future, there's going to be an opportunity here for you to break free from this. This is again all about you shining. It's all about you shining. And getting the credit, you know, getting what, receiving what you deserve. We also have a Ten of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups. Yes, because this is what you deserve. You deserve a Ten of Cups and a Ten of Pentacles. But again, you're not seeing these energies here today, now, where you are at, at this job, in this connection. But again, I repeat, there's going to be an opportunity in the near future for you to get this. And you need to balance the feelings, the mind with the heart. 
This is about you. This is your achievement. Five of Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, Gem for Gemini. Temperance, patience. As I said, this is in, in the near future. You need to put things into perspective, right? With judgment here. <coughs> Again, we see someone here that is in a toxic environment. And he's hearing the calling. So it's, it's also about making a decision here, right? See things as they are. Not really, like... Again, because feelings are involved for some of you. In some cases, yes. Yes, thank you very much. Ace of Cups. Feelings are involved. This is what made this, this woman, right? She stays, she, she did stick around in this situation because of her feelings. But what is best for her? And again, as I said, she, also, she is also hearing her uh, calling here. There's victory. Yeah. Mm. Ace of Cups and Judgment for Gemini. Knight of Cups. Could be that this person is aware of your feelings and it's just like, yeah. They of wands. Again, if they have, they, they, excuse me, they have taken you for granted. Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The Fool, new opportunity. This is again a new opportunity for you to get what you deserve. Not allowing this person, this energy to block you. Stealing from your energy, stealing from your time, stealing from your glow, from your light. Gemini, and you know who this is. You are aware. You are aware. This is someone that is toxic. This is someone that is traumatized. Again, you need to find that strength. No matter who this is. No matter who this is. <coughs> Let's see what is your spiritual message. For the month of November. Oh. I focus my attention on my behaviors and their results in order to learn from the past. Laughter and compassion for myself help heal emotional wounds. I am responsible. I stay with matters until they are settled and then I understand them. I observe myself with loving kindness. I accept myself and have tolerance for my way of being as I learn and grow. Are you able to laugh at your mistakes? Do you take the time to learn from them? Have you felt like life is playing tricks on you? Observe yourself in the series of events that led up, led up to perceived mistakes. Find the humor and levity in the situation. Allow the energy of the lesson to help you mature and grow.
in the night. We have bear power. I am indestructible. Uh, excuse me, indestructible. Sorry, I'm indestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength. I never give up. I will succeed. Gemini, this is what I got for you. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.